Why don't you and Francis go downstairs and see if that bar is ready yet? Why don't you just look out the window? Oh, okay, fine. But you guys are going to have to wait for me to get some different shoes. I am not putting on those Chinese torture devices for one more minute. Besides wearing the same dress, these women share something else in common. Five women wearing the same dress is partially what it sounds like, but a lot more. It is about five bridesmaids who are desperately trying to avoid a wedding reception. It's the quintessential bridesmaid, bridesmaid central where you drop your bags and get drunk and then go back out and like, you know, play nice with the relatives and then go back upstairs to hide and vent and lots of, um, lots of things come up during this wedding. So it's very, very interesting. And through the course of the play, you find out that all of these women have had similar experiences with the same man that has not turned out right. And it's, it's affected each one of their lives differently. Um, and that's basically the same dress that they're all wearing. Please tell me this is not about Tommy Valentine. I was walking down the aisle, and the first thing I saw was the back of his head. Though the women have a mutual bond, they have extremely different personalities. I am Mindy, who is the groom's sister, and she is an out gay woman which is something that comes up a lot in the play. Um, she is the only one who is not friends with or family with any of the other women in the show. Um, she is the cousin of the one man in the show. So she is kind of the odd woman out and that she doesn't quite fit in with everybody. My character, you get the least amount of backstory with my character, so that has been a challenge. Um, she is always in the room, so any time anyone has a revelation and wants to talk about it, she is the one that they talk to. Um, she is kind of known as um, being easier, having had a lot of men in her life, and so she's very guarded against real relationships. She's been damaged before, um, but the one man in the show does kind of break through to her. So that's a real fun scene to that cat and mouse game back and forth and who wins. In addition to the eclectic characters, there's a number of reasons why you should go out and see this show. She's beautiful. She has a great body. She has a fancy career. Now she's got herself a husband who worships the ground she walks on, but she doesn't have any real friends, does she? She can't have everything. <laughs> this makes me feel so much better, I can't even tell you. It's a, it's a fun show you're gonna laugh I can promise you you're probably gonna cry at one point or two it's like an emotional roller coaster what is that? What is that? Oh, it's just me Hi there. Francis, what the hell are you doing um, watching these five women deal with their past and present and forging new friendships it's also just a lot of fun like it's not all we're gonna talk about the issues it's a very fun and funny show, but it has some very important things to say. It is so endearing, and no matter who you are or how many weddings you have ever been to, you will identify with a lot of stuff in this show, and there is a character for everyone. Five women wearing the same dress is a laugh out loud story with surprisingly touching moments. It's a moving celebration of female friendships. Just come and see the show. It's, you, you will not regret it. It's, it's, it's a fun evening, it's a fun evening. And if I die of cancer, it's going to be Tommy Valentine's fault. For About Town, this is Susan Kamyab. God, I feel like I'm going crazy. You know, my cousin George, he's a nurse. He says I'm the perfect type to get some weird disease because I'm so emotional.